We'll have a little order, please. Order. Mr. Speaker, as the Prime Minister is aware, reports indicate that 9 million sockeye salmon went missing during last summer's migration to the Fraser River. Will the Prime Minister tell this House what action this government will be taking to respond to the problem? Summer of 2009, we contacted our local member of Parliament, John Weston, over concerns of uh, poor or low returns of Fraser River sockeye. Through that, John was the one who asked the question of Prime Minister Harper to call the Cohen inquiry. You know, our group wasn't the only one asking for this inquiry, but we felt that we played a small role in, in getting it to uh, come about. And it's, it was very important to both myself and our Sea to Sky Fisheries Roundtable. We are very concerned about the low and falling returns of sockeye salmon in British Columbia. Tomorrow, Mr. Speaker, the Minister of International Trade, as the Regional Minister for British Columbia, will be making an announcement outlining the terms of a terms of reference for a judicial inquiry as well as the uh, judge who will lead that inquiry. The, uh, Incredible to see the outpouring of interest and support for the Cohen Commission because people in BC care so much about it. Hey, wild salmon is an integral part of our diet uh, since time immemorial. Because they bring back to the coast uh, materials and energy that they gain at sea, and this helps to support populations of wolves, bears, uh, eagles, and, and even the forests themselves. Wild salmon are absolutely essential to life in British Columbia, both the economy and the uh, ecological community. Third, I'm satisfied from everything I heard in the evidence, including public submissions and presentations at public forums, that British Columbians will not tolerate more than a minimal risk of serious harm to Fraser River sockeye from salmon farms. It seemed like it was money being well spent. There was. Uh, a plan put in place or recommendations put in place to help recover sockeye and every other salmon stocks and it just seems like the government's just ignoring it and it's a real real disappointment it's a real... now there is something appalling about at one point thinking we better have an inquiry spending 26 million dollars on it i'm not opposed to the inquiry or the money and then doing nothing We can't wait to protect wild salmon any longer. That's why Watershed Watch is calling for the Auditor General of Canada to get involved. Join our call by signing our petition. Together we can stand up to ensure our future includes healthy waterways and wild salmon.